Clinton's presidential run and the great O'Reilly Colbert face-off. With us now, as usual, body language expert extraordinaire. Say that five times fast, Tanya Ryman. All right, um, got a lot to talk about yes. uh, today. Now, we must set up uh, a couple of things. We're going to show you some ambushes that we do. Ambushes in, in broadcast journalism when people not expecting uh, the camera to show up and uh, the producer to ask them questions. But the person that did expect to be scrutinized was Senator Clinton when she announced that she was pretty much going to run for president. Roll the tape. We all need to be part of the discussion if we're all going to be part of the solution. And all of us have to be part of the solution. You know, after six years of George Bush, it is time to renew the promise of America, our basic bargain, that no matter who you are or where you live, if you work hard and play by the rules, you can build a good life for yourself and your family. I grew up in a middle-class family in the middle of America, and we believed in that promise. I still do. I've spent my entire life trying to make good on it. Okay, what is she saying to us with her body? Well, there was a couple of things I noticed right off the bat. She's definitely trying to endear herself to everyone. But I also noticed that it seemed very scripted, so to speak. Rehearsed, her, yeah, but very she always rehearsed. is. This time was more so. It almost seemed like on specific words she would purposely tilt her body in a certain way just to make herself look a little bit warmer, a little bit friendlier. You know, if you're looking at, did you see that lip purse? That was when she was talking about George Bush. And you could see the contempt as she's talking about him with that lip purse put together. Mm -hmm. So now she does this. And what she's trying to do is just show you that this is from her heart. She's pointing to you and telling you this is all from the heart. Can you fake sincerity? Is, is, Absolutely. You can. Absolutely. You can fake. Sure. I'm not saying she's, she's doing that. Right. But see, yeah, the these are all, to me, these are all posed. You could see how with each specific word she feels the need to kind of elaborate right mm -hmm. do you Absolutely. think it was choreographed before when in the rehearsal uh she's reading a teleprompter here she's reading a script right was it did she have a choreographer actually come in and say do that with your hands uh grab your knee uh, that kind of thing i don't think so because a couple of things like just here she, what's that mean what's she, the hand what thing? she did see this little hand rub that she's doing right, on her legs right. that's almost like a self-comforting gesture so i don't really think she had somebody come in and choreograph everything but i think certain and things she was told specifically to do. What she started off by doing was keeping her hands separated a little bit, and then she talks about how we all need to come together, so the hands come together. And that's definitely a way of unconsciously saying to the viewer, look, this is where we are, and now we need to all come together. All right. So that things along those lines, I think, were definitely, you know, she was told to do those things. Now, um, we went up to uh, Vermont uh, to get Judge David Howard, who gave a, a child molester, a man who um, molested a four-year-old, probation. Roll it. Hey, Judge. Jesse Waters with the Fox News Channel. How you doing? Can I talk to you for a second no. about that cash place? No. That guy sexually assaulted a four-year-old, and you didn't give him any jail time. Can you explain that, sir? Don't you think you owe us an explanation? What, you don't believe in punishment? Judge, don't you think you need to owe us an explanation? This was a very good one. If we go through the tape, you'll see he starts off by doing like almost a sideways glance uh, to see what's happening. You can notice he'll do that sideways glance almost as if he's gotten caught doing something. Okay, And then when the producer tries to introduce himself, uh, he gives a little like fearful smirk. Do you see yeah. that? Like it's a smile like. He walks past and of course poor Jesse, Mr. Nice Man is over there and he just got shunned. Well what is that look? What was that look? What does that say? Which look? The, the look, look that he just, when he says I'm from Fox News Channel and, and it, the lip look. You oh, that was a fearful grin almost. Like it was, I'm caught right here mm -hmm. and I you know it might have been he didn't anticipate him coming but look no, here he, he gives him the finger he, <laughs> he gives pops him the finger? out that middle finger uh -huh. I don't know if that was conscious or unconscious but oh, he popped out that middle finger oh I think the finger. judge probably had a little agenda there it shows you <laughs> what kind of guy he is all right let's come back and uh, we then visited uh, North Carolina where Jesse Waters caught up with uh, the DA in the Duke rape case Mike Nifon Mr. Nifon I'm leaving. What do you feel about the Duke case now that it's falling apart? I believe I've said on many occasions to anybody who asks, I spoke about the Duke case only in the courtroom.
Okay. Okay. He starts off, he has that very tough guy walk as he's walking down the driveway. You could see he's swinging one arm a little bit harder than the other. See, he swings his left arm a little bit harder than the other. The chin is elevated. It's a tough guy look. He starts off, now he's pointing the finger automatically. What he winds up doing when he gets down to the bottom of the driveway, however, is starting to talk very assertively with the hands going downward. So the hands are pointing down. He's trying to make his point. And then, see, there's the hand. And then the finger and the thumb. Now, the interesting thing about that is that that's a very aggressive tactic to use, the finger and the thumb. It's almost like wielding a weapon. You know, you have the finger and the thumb pointing at the same time. Well, he'd like to shoot Jesse. Well, it's aggressive. <laughs> it's definitely more on the aggressive so side. So he's a macho man. He's definitely the macho man. All right. We'll take a break, and then Tanya will analyze the great O'Reilly Colbert Exchange Program. Whoa. Also, I had Dick Morris on what President Bush has to say using words in the State of the Union Address moments away.